Hello curious people. Today, we have another exciting video for you. Today we are going to discuss a system SDRG controls developed for a customer who was developing a high-speed manufacturing machine. This high-speed manufacturing machine was designed around the positioning machine shown in this slide. The rotary table would increment around to various stations. Different steps of the process would occur at each of the stations. Come with us as we show you how the process was developed. Well friends, this shows the basic operation station which manufactured the customer's products. Our part of the development process was to increment and stop the rotary table's motion in over a dozen precise locations. What happened at the stations and how it happened was outside SDRG's scope of supply. Our objectives were to precisely increment the table to a specific location and perform the process in less than two seconds. We were to send a signal that we were in position and then receive a completed input from the external process that it was okay to continue. At each position we also increment several stepper motors that provided materials for the external processes. Optimizing the process speed was important, and where possible SDRG ran preparation and post-process handling processes simultaneous with table rotation movement. Shown here is the servo rotary table and servo controller which operated it. Our first task was to send control signals to the servo controller to provide the proper table operation. We needed to provide the properly timed start, stop, and distance commands to the controller. When the rotary table was at the proper location and stopped, we could send various start commands to other devices to operate. When all of the other devices completed their tasks such as positioning foil or flipper operation, the table increment command would be started and it would rotate. All of these operations were controlled by a PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, and an HMI, Man-Machine Interface. This diagram shows the control of the two stepper drives that handled foil. One motor advanced the foil capstan and the other reloaded the foil. If the foil was present, the foil would advance a fixed number of counts to ensure fresh foil was available for the next increment of the turntable. The system could detect if all of the foil was used up during processing. If the foil was used up, the second stepper would load fresh foil. The system used high-speed counters, stepper drives and decoders for rotary encoders to handle all of the high-speed foil handling tasks. All tasks were managed by the PLC. Shown here is the Automation Direct BRX PLC used for the project. This PLC controlled all functions of the process. A Seymour HMI sent commands to the BRX for operator's input. All of the various control devices like the servo stepper, foil handling steppers, status indicators, and external process start and done signals were controlled by the BRX PLC. The other devices did contain configuration information, but the PLC provided primary supervisor controls. Shown here is the control setup used for testing and configuration. Note, the switches at the top right were used during testing prior to final assembly. This subpanel was installed in an enclosure for shipment to the customer. This panel also included breakers, fuses, power supplies, terminals, etc., which made up the complete control system. During testing, this panel was wired to the various devices discussed previously, with external processes using simulated signals, such as time delayed relay feedback. This testing was with a small part of the overall system equipment but it was an important verification of the core processing which ensured the high-speed functionality of the system. Shown here is the positioning system connected together for testing. Note that the switches shown in the prior video are still connected but are out of view. Also, the actual field cables between the panel hardware and the turntable were used to confirm proper operation. The multimeter in the lower right was used for testing. Once all wiring errors were corrected, tuning was completed, and then the whole assembly was disassembled for panel installation and shipping.